This is my unboxing and first try video of the Melitta Letitia OT coffee machine. Um, Melitta actually do sponsor uh, Manchester, Manchester United. Um, so if you're into football, they actually do a version of this with the Manchester United crest printed on the machine. Um, I'm not a football fan, so I've not gone with that one. Uh, but let's have a look. So we've got the instructions and all the parts that we need. So I've taken the machine out of the box and I've got to say the box is massive for the size of, of machine. Um, really need to think about small packaging. I'm just going to start un undoing the tape so we can start having a look at the actual machine itself. There we go. So this part here is the hopper for the coffee beans. Now this does take whole bean rather than uh, coffee ground. And the one next to it, this will take your water. I've got these different Melitta beans. Um, lots of different ones to try. So I'm gonna be using these. The one I'm gonna start with today is the Barista Crema Forte, which is um, quite a nice coffee for lattes, Americanos, and it's a four out of five coffee strength as well. So if you like your coffee strong, I would go for uh, this one. They do have other varieties, such as the Selection Des Jerez, which is a three. They have the Barista Crema, which is also a three. And then finally, they have the um, Bella Crema Special, which is a two. Enough about the beans. We're gonna use this one, and we need to try out this amazing coffee machine and see what we think. So that's the hopper filled with coffee. Now we need to switch it on and start making our first cup of Melitta coffee with the Letitia OT coffee machine. I know it looks like there was a lot of coffee put into the machine, but that will keep me going for several days. Um, it just fills the hopper up and that's all we need, which is great. So let's get this machine turned on and let's start making our first coffee. So now that the coffee machine is switched on, you'll notice that there is a red button here which shows the power button. You've got the flashing button here which looks like a cloud. This is actually the steam dispensing button. Uh, it just shows you that if you're having a milky coffee that the steamer is currently heating up. You'll notice that we've got a dial here and this dial is for the size of cups that you're using for your coffee. And then we have a range of buttons and this is now down to uh, the type of coffee you want. The first button here you see is a coffee, coffee bean and now this will give you your uh, brewing strength button it is. So this will give you a, a weaker coffee or a stronger coffee. Now I like a stronger coffee so that'll be one that I'll be playing around with until I can find the exact strength I want. The next button is just a normal black coffee. Uh, something nice and easy. Um, next one is cappuccino. Next one after that is a latte macchiato. The one that looks like a glass of milk is actually there for your milk froth. So this will give you your ideal topping for lattes and espresso, uh, lattes and cappuccinos. And the final one is actually the water and the service button. So if you just want a cup of hot water, this will do that for you as well. I'm going to start with a, an Americano, so I'm going to go to this one and we're going to see how the coffee turns out. Now the coffee machine has finished making our first coffee, you can see that it's got a nice crema on top. You will notice that when this machine is actually working, it does create a lot of steam because you will end up with a piping hot cup of coffee. So make sure this machine isn't in front, uh, isn't below any Smoke alarms because you will be waking the whole house up early in the morning. Now let's give this coffee a try and let's see what we think. Now that is a great cup of coffee. Now this coffee machine, um, I've got to say I do really like it. Um, I like the fact that you've got a decent sized hopper to hold a lot of coffee so you're not having to fill it up all the time. A really 
decent size uh, water tank again so you know I'm to fill it up all the time one thing I would say that is a negative for me is the size of the box that it comes in but as it's an expensive machine and the amount of packaging they're using is probably there for the protection. Now this is great to be used with the Melitta coffee, uh, it does make a really great cuppa. Now I'm going to come back in time and give you an update on what I think about the machine after I've had more time to use it. Um, check out my other coffee machine videos on YouTube and I'll catch you next time.